Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn the sixth sum of the exercise 2A. The sixth sum is given like this. Puneet has a recurrent deposit account in the Bank of Baroda and deposits rupees 140 per month for four years. If he gets rupees 8092 on maturity, find the rate of interest given by the bank. Here, the P value, N value, and MP value will be given. You have to calculate what will be the R value. First, write down what are the values are given.
Yeah, plus I. Yeah, we have a question. It is seven thousand. 
11. So instead of 301, we are going to substitute 311 minus 10 yen minus 3110 equals to 0. Then yen square plus multiply this 311 yen minus 10 n minus 3110 equals to 0. Then the first two numbers and the last two numbers you consider. In the first two numbers we have yen common. Remove it outside. When we remove one n, the n square, one more n will be finding that we can write inside the bracket. Plus, and we have removed n, the remaining is 311. Here we are getting the negative sign as common and also the number of n as common. When we take the negative sign as common outside, the number which is there inside the bracket will become positive. So we can write here plus n and also plus 3, 3 love, 300, I'm sorry, 10 into 311 is 3110 equals to 0. So when we consider this equation, n plus 311 is common in both. So we take n plus 311 as common and n minus 10 is equal to 0. So take individually n plus 311 equals to 0, n minus 10 equals to 0. Should we now go to the opposite side? So n equals to minus 311 and here n is equal to plus 10. Since the years cannot be calculated in negative sign, cannot go into take this value, we will consider n is equal to 10 years. The last one is 10th one. Mr. Gulati has a recurrent deposit account of rupees 300 per month with the rate of interest is 12% and the maturity value of this account is rupees 8,100. 8, Find the time of this recurrent deposit account.